Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Gemini for the week. Okay, so we have the Page of Wands. Nice energy, Gemini. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Geminis for the week. Thank you. Message for Gemini. Oh, we have dreaming. Okay, and what do we have for Gemini, please, angels, for the week? Message for our lovely Geminis, thank you, for the week. 22nd to the 28th of February 2021, thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> success. I mean, the Page of Wands is a good card of success or certainly the beginnings of it, but it's linked with this, success. Something that you may have been dreaming of, hoping for, wishing for, imagining. So let's, um, if you're doing any visualization work, Gemini, I'm getting visualization work. Um, there is, you know, as part of your manifesting, it's definitely happening. It's definitely helping. Okay, so what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Geminis, thank you. So we have the Seven of Wands in your challenge position. The Devil. And we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Geminis, thank you. Message for Gemini, thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Gemini? 22nd to the 28th of February, 2021, thank you. Angels, spirits, guides. Just shuffle one more time. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Three of Swords is clarified with the Devil. And we have the Ten of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. And interestingly enough, what I'm definitely seeing immediately is this Page of Wands is connected to this King of Wands for me as a reader because the King of Wands holds the wand. So for some of you, there is good news coming. You know, the, the page of wands is good news. A message, a message of good news can be to do with opportunity, career, career business opportunity. Can also be to do with a new passion. Could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, but it's exciting. You know, it's like a breath of fresh air, the page of wands. It is something that you want to take action towards, something that sparks your interest, something that is very much in line with your passions, desires, aspirations, heart and soul energy. So I love the energy for that reason. And again, I'm definitely getting this energy of something that you can only dream of, something that you've been hoping for, praying for, wishing for. Um, this dreamy energy is, is, is very much like this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is 12th house energy, it's Pisces, which is the house of, of spirit, the house of magic, you know? So I, I love this energy that there is something coming towards you here that is bringing some level of success. Um, beautiful energy. Yeah. 
Um, it is a card of success. I'm definitely getting the energy of jumping for joy as well. You see how that angel just jumps into the light, jumps for joy. So you definitely get it. It feels like there is some door opening, the beginning of a new message, some kind of positive news that you've been really wanting. Very much connected to your heart and soul. The challenge is... Certainly in terms of money, career, business, wanting to be recognized, wanting to be noticed for what you do, your work, your talent, your experience. You might have been, I mean, this can also be a card of an apprenticeship. So this can be linked with apprenticeships, internships, um, competing against other people for some kind of job or internship or apprenticeship. So for some of you that might resonate, Gemini. Um, it feels it feels that there is some kind of commercial element to this. I mean, yes, I, I could read this in terms of money career, but with the success energy, it feels like what you've been working steadily towards, and this is hard work. This is, oh my goodness, it's felt like Groundhog Day. I'm working hard. You know, I'm displaying my skills, experience, knowledge, but my goodness, it's felt like some kind of challenge. I've been working through a situation so if you've been challenged in terms of career, business, money, you have the power to overcome it. You have the power to beat competition. You have the power to overcome something that has challenged you in terms of money, career, finances. If it's been in other areas of your life in terms of love, romance, relationships, again, focusing on what is going to bring you gain. You might be focusing on your money. You might be focusing on what is going to bring you stability and security in your life. You might be working through a challenging situation in terms of love romance relationships you know this can also be a card of healing for me as a reader so overcoming some kind of challenge trying to get back on track having been hurt because the there has definitely been something that has caused you instability either in terms of money career business or in terms of relationships the devil can be to do with, I mean, it can be sometimes a devil in your workplace, you know, can be a boss, can be a co-worker, someone who's caused you emotional pain. Uh, this, somebody has caused you some hurt, some letdown. This can also be in terms of relationships, unhealthy relationships, working through, trying to get back on track, trying to overcome some kind of, hurtful truth or third party situation or someone that someone that's caused you emotional pain in a relationship and it feels like you were dealing with that but there's a message that you needed to see the truth of this situation you needed to see the truth of this situation and you needed to go through that journey you needed to go through that journey because what you've learned on the road to this Knight of Cups, for some of you, it feels like what you've learned, the journey, this can be the past journey, even though it's completing, which is a 10. What that past journey has taught you, Gemini, will equip you for how you move forward to this next opportunity. This is about making space for the new. This is about putting down the burdens of the past because there is a new offer, opportunity coming your way. But the past test, this test, this challenge, what you've been working through, how you've been in your power to overcome it, it is equipping you to be ready for this new opportunity coming your way, the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups brings in an offer, an opportunity. This can be in terms of love, romance, relationships, a new passion, in which case that will be with potentially a Leo um, or fire energy, Aquarius, sorry, a fire energy, Aries. I wanted to say Aries. Could be Aquarius because I said it. Um, but Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is fire energy or somebody who represents this energy, Gemini. Um, so a leader, magnetic, charismatic, confident, a go-getter. So for some of you, 
there could be some kind of offer opportunity coming from a person like that in love. Now, this can equally be to do with something that's very much connected to your heart, something that you've been dreaming of, something that you really want to happen. So it could be in terms of creative offers, opportunities, projects, you know, could be in business, in which case, again, the King of Wands might be offering you something, the opportunity that this Page of Wands holds. So it feels for some of you, there is an, the beginnings of something new coming your way. And it's to do with this King of Wands, male or female energy. But you're ready to put down the burdens of the past, though what you've learned from the past is making you realize that what this Knight of Cups is offering you is something that you really want. You know, the Knights bring change. Uh, the Knights are all about finding direction. And I definitely feel in this energy, this is finding a new passion, an offer of a new passion, an offer of a new opportunity coming your way. And the beginnings of some positive news coming that is ultimately going to end in success. So very good in terms of business career here, Gemini. Very good in terms of maybe new relationships as well for some of you as well. Could be both. Could be in the workplace. Um, but it feels what you've been working towards. It hasn't been in vain. The burdens that you've experienced, the pressure that you've experienced, the effort that you've been putting into something hasn't been in vain. I definitely feel for some of you that this Knight of Cups is bringing some happy, joyful opportunity your way. Something that you really, really want. Something that's connected to your heart and soul. And remember, the King offers the wand. So it feels very beautiful here. Let's pull one more card, Gemini. Any other message for Gemini with regard to this reading, please? Any other message for Gemini with regard to this reading? And there's definitely an energy of things are about to change for the better. That's the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have um, the death card, card of Scorpio, Phoenix Rising. And I definitely get it with this energy, the Three of Swords, the Devil. You're breaking free of a difficult cycle. You're liberating yourself from it. And it feels like you're ready for the rebirth. You're ready for the new. You know, this is a card of shed an old skin. So yeah, you've learned a lot of lessons from a past journey, but you're not held hostage to them anymore. You can put down those burdens now. And that's what the Death card is asking you. Embrace change. Uh, some some ending of being tested, of gone, have, having gone through some pain, um, challenge, instability, is over. You have the ability to let it go because there is some new opportunity coming your way, which is bringing change. And it starts with some positive news. So let's pull one more card. Final card of advice please for Gemini final card of advice for Gemini yeah I love the energy I like the five of pentacles it can be linked with our self-worth self-esteem um, but it can also be to do with um, finances money business career as well so this is an energy of recovery from the challenge so the recovery is about to begin and it feels for some of you that's what the Knight of Cups is bringing into you. Something that is allowing you is going to bring change, uh, recover, maybe financially recover from a situation, uh, recover job wise, business wise from a situation, can be also to do with your self-worth, self-esteem. Um, if you've been challenging in terms of love, romance, relationships, there is recovery. This is the recovery. You are the phoenix rising this week. And a phoenix actively rises from the old, purges the old, cleanses the old in order to embrace the new. So finally, it feels that there is some ending to the pressure, the burden, the change, the opportunity is coming your way. It could be a leader in business. Again, somebody who is a leader in business, who is influential this week. 
um, very charismatic, a go-getter, a visionary. Again, somebody who is sparking your passions in love too. So the message remains the same regardless of the outcome, but it's definitely leading to some kind of success. So I love the energy. So final message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah. Look, there's an opportunity to manifest something new here. We have be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. Because for some of you, it feels like you're manifesting some kind of new path. This night is bringing in the change. And it's a happy change. Um, so it feels very beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, I've got transformation. And again, manifestation, transformation. What is transformation? The death card. This is big transformation. Because we have the white in the picture, the alchemist's colour here, which is a symbol of transformation here, deep transformation to your circumstances by releasing the old. So we have the fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. And it is. It is with that night, which is such a positive energy. It feels like the period of burden challenge is over. Something is ending this week and it feels that like the recovery process of getting back on track, of opening up to positive change is available to you. The best is yet to come. So lovely energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.